Hey, how's it going everybody? Mr. Euro Willy here. Last episode, I crafted this sword, and afterwards I double-checked to make sure I was right, and this is the most powerful melee weapon you can get before hardcore. And it's actually even more powerful than most hardcore <laughs> melee weapons, so I was actually surprised about that. Um, so I'm quite happy that I was finally able to craft this. I have a few more things I wish to uh, craft and build and all that before we face off the wall of flesh uh for building wise just so you guys are aware i do wish to build a um house for everybody all the npcs that i have collected so far in the order that i found them um i'll probably start working on that next episode i will also want to redo my house design before i um before i destroy the wall of flesh with my awesomeness um, let's see. Also, I collected a couple more voodoo dolls while I was collecting, uh, some of the stuff. I don't know if you guys noticed that, uh, when I was crafting everything. Uh, unfortunately, voodoo dolls do not stack, which is kind of lame. Because I don't, <laughs> I don't want that many voodoo dolls. I only need one! But, um, of course, I have to climb up here. But as you can see, totally out of space, really like completely so i will definitely be upgrading my house uh before doing anything too crazy um just because i just don't have the space for all of this awesomeness that i've been collecting um let's see hellstone copper obsidian i don't have spots for that I don't have a spot for this yet. Ash. So uh, today I need to collect a few more materials. Um, and I shall be back afterwards. Uh, it's all hell stuff. So I'll be um, down there most of this episode for all the collections. And I will be hopping up here whenever... Or not hopping up here, but um, hopping on the camera whenever anything super interesting... Oh. I do have Hellstone. I'll put Copper in there for now. And, uh, well, no. But, uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, hopping on the camera. If anything interesting happens, like I find a Shadow Chest or, um, Goblin Army happens or whatever. But I shall see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I have a pump up here and I've slowly been digging my way through a couple of these and I finally run into the problem where it evaporates before it gets down here. As you can see, there's all this lava I've been having it run, but before it can get down here, it thins out too much. So I'm pretty much just going to be moving the pump and all that. So that's pretty much what you gotta do uh, down here every once in a while. Um, another thing is, is you can put the wire right across, but it's gonna be a pain to get there so what I always do is I try and move the wire to areas that I'm going to be um, working in a lot uh, also areas that have a lot of um, air uh, a lot of room around it so when I break the wire I can still well get the wire and let's go ahead and put it like right there for the pump um, also when you're working with this stuff you want to be able to control the water so what i did is i built a wall here and a wall here so it keeps the water in this area and doesn't just drain here because this is all wasted water if it drains down there and we don't want to waste water in hell because well it's a waste and every once in a while you'll get visitors like hell bats and demons and bone lords or whatever they're called <laughs> the, the skeleton worms um but yeah basically just keeping up with that and then turn that on pump water and keep going here's also another trick that you can do if you don't have a pump or you don't want to keep moving your pump is basically build a reservoir of empty space underneath where you're going to be mining this stuff now you got to be careful when you do it this method because obviously you know once in a while you're gonna lose some of your health stone but uh if you do it this way you can kind of stay clear of most of the lava and it'll just pull up in a lower region so that's another you know solution for you guys if you wished to know of one 
I wonder if a blood moon is more likely to rise when you're in the ne er, not in the nether, in uh, hell. Cause that's uh, another blood moon. Or maybe it's just being really frequent. I have a feeling it just is more likely when you're uh, when you're in hell, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. I uh, I should really look that up. Come on, stop running. I like I can like kill those guys in like two or three hits with the sword. It is awesome. Uh, another way that you can uh, gather some of the stuff is by drinking this obsidian potion, which I brought along a while ago, and just diving down here because it pretty much lets you treat lava like, well, water. You won't uh, die. Now, you gotta make sure you keep your eye on that marker because if you end up taking too much you know, time down here and you're not paying attention, you will obviously burn alive. This is the most dangerous method out of all the ones that I've kind of shown you. Now, the nice thing is that I also have the scuba helmet on, which is nice because it acts like the uh, like I, if I'm in normal water too. So it allows me to stay down here a lot longer. It also allows me to not get hurt as much when I start suffocating. You can also take some gill potions if you don't have the scuba helmet, and that allows you to basically breathe underwater for a, a limited amount of time. I think it might be the same amount of time as the obsidian potion or somewhere close to that. Now, um, this, in my opinion, is kind of one of the quickest ways of doing it, uh, but totally the most dangerous way. So always know where you are, always keep your eye on that timer, and um, ignore, you know, monsters if you can, just swim to another side of the lake, go somewhere else, that kind of thing. But um, I pretty much have what I need. I'm just going to go ahead and collect the rest of this while my uh, timer is going on. And all that. Also, you want to have the fins too, so that way you can swim to the top. Um, else, you're gonna have to build a bridge, or not a bridge, but basically a platform to swim up. That's pretty much all the stuff that we got here, and I'm just gonna kill him and get out of here. Rah! Humbug! <laughs> Why does he keep trying to sell me angel statues? Everybody knows they don't do anything, or do they? Still a blood moon, by the way, which is why uh, so many monsters out. Not sure why it was so quiet all of a sudden. That's kind of weird. <laughs> just love how I just mow through these guys. Uh, it's great. All right, I need to like get to where I was going, which is this direction. Close, close, run, and then down here. Ah, crud. It's, he's knocking out one of the NBC's homes. Ah, uh, no. Well, it's just him. We're cool. Oop, forgot to close this guy's door. Come on, over here, zombies. Yeah, over here. Look at the pretty lie chopping your friend's faces off. Gosh dang it, stop trying to eat him! <laughs> He's meaningless! Ooh, a star. That's right, over here. Is it morning time? Does that mean I can like finally leave these guys alone? Good. <laughs> so my problem with going upstairs so quickly is that issue of, oh my goodness, they're trying to eat his face off. Alright, so anyways, going to combine Hellstone and Obsidian once again into Hell Bricks. Where are you? Um, there we are. Now, I, for this recipe, don't need as much as the last recipe. I only need 16. I'm going to save the rest of the stuff for extra. Uh, tons of Obsidian, by the way. I have, like more Obsidian than I know what to do with because of my water pump. Uh, solution that I normally do uh, it just you know gives me tons and tons of uh, obsidian because every obsidian I get or every hellstone I get I get obsidian too because of the water and I got another voodoo doll like I'll be able to attack the uh, wall of flesh for years to come <laughs> with all of the voodoo dolls that I keep 
ending up collecting. Also, can take off my scuba helmet. I'm pretty much just keeping it in my inventory right now, which is nice. Also, because I was collecting so much uh, ash, I just used that as my main building block down there because it's constantly replenishing. Anyways, go to an anvil with your 16 um, hell bars. Oh, you only need 15. Sorry. Um, reading that off the corner of my screen and the 5 and the 6 kind of look alike. And you need an enchanted boomerang, and that will give you the flamerang, which is awesome. Yeah, it's a, re a ruthless. I'm going to fix that a bit because it has slightly negative on the knockback, but it does more damage. But it's very fast, very strong knock knockback normally. And the nice thing is it has a chance of catching things on fire, which, oh yeah, also does 41 damage, by the way, which is quite a lot of damage, almost as much as this way more than this this is like worthless to me at the moment <laughs> um hmm. let's find something to catch on fire or at least try to catch on fire oh well, i can almost kill everything in two hits with this thing uh, let's see whoa that yeah, is relatively fast i like that um Hoping down here. Mm, it's a bat. Come on, bat. I'll probably kill it in one hit. It's probably not the best target practice. Come on. And miss. Yeah, one hit. <laughs> Just make it go flying. I will find something to kill. Ooh, I hear a zombie. Hello, zombie. Zombie. Are you anywhere nearby? Also, I need one more heart. Zombie! 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 Wow, this is very uh, uneventful caves here. Another bat. Come on, come on, there we go. Ooh, gold. And a zombie. Perfect. Or no, skeleton. Hey, my mouse stopped, like, working. I don't know if you noticed that. Hey, a plus symbol. Yay, plus. It's not a cross, it's a plus. See, there you go. He's on fire now. <laughs> Eek. Oh. Well, I'll still do damage to you. <laughs> Maybe not flame damage, but damage nonetheless. <laughs> All right, anyways, on my way back to the house. All right, just cleared out my inventory just a bit. So I'm gonna do one more thing before the episode ends. The first thing I wanted to do was just craft this thing because it's, well, something I always enjoy is the boomerang and the fact that I can catch things on the fire. Um, but I want to hunt down um, floating islands. Oh, something happened to my smoke clouds. Oh well. Anyways, um, one easy way of doing this is using the water bolt because it bounces off things. So I'm going to assume there's nothing up there because nothing bounced back. Because as you know, it ricochets and we'll keep going for quite a while. So every once in a while, I'll kind of shoot these up and explore and see if anything uh, comes knocking down and all that. Um, and I'll see you guys if I find anything. Sweet. I think I found one. You can also hear the, uh, not only the re rebounding of those, but you can also hear vines, um, getting knocked back. Rawr! Die slimes! Well, that slime only hit one. <laughs> so, there is an island above me, which is awesome. I actually did end up killing a slime. How cute. Ain't. Um, so flying islands are um, rare in a way. Uh, there's only a max of three on a small world, which I believe is what I made. So I only took three keys. Um, I'm just going to... There's still something bouncing around up there, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'm just going to build a straight up platform. Mostly because I have the grappling hook, so I can 
use that to get up. Oh yeah, I can see the vines now. But also because um, I can make platforms on it eventually too. So let me uh, just clear this area. And once again, do 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 do. Now, um, there's a few different kinds of floating islands. They all obviously float, but each one will have a temple kind of on it, like a building. And that building will be made out of a specific kind of block. Now, you can already see right here that this is the bronze one. Now, there is also going to be harpies that are going to try and visit you. Um, now, because I'm coming from underneath here, they can't get to me, which is uh, one convenient reason why I went down here. Also, the nice thing about um, these uh, islands is they have a lot of uh, high-end materials to it, like, you know, silver and gold down there. So, if you're uh, looking for that as well, this is a good way of finding it, or a good place to find some. Almost at the top here. Now, they all have these chests. Um, I believe there's no exception to it. Uh, but what the chests will have will be different uh, depending on, um, you know, luck. So, you always want to uh, kind of hope for the best. Hey, ow. Also, you need a golden uh, key to get into here. There's no alternative around that. Um, so make sure that you've explored the dungeons enough to be able to get a golden key. And, of course, the door's on the other side, but that's okay. I'm totally going to, like, loot this whole thing. What do we got? We got some nasty visitors. All right, so we got lame, lame, eh. Grenades, eh. Silver coins, eh. Torches, eh. Star Fury. This is one that I think can only be found, or is high, it's a higher chance of being found, up on um, the uh, floating islands here. I'm also going to take the golden chest for the heck of it. And let's break this down. I'll show you what this sword does. Bye. Doom, 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 doom. Now, they don't do a lot of damage, but they do do uh, mass group damage. And you can use the sword itself as its own C17 magic damage. See, not as powerful as, you know, the Knight's Edge, but for, like, a group attack, let's say I'm getting attacked by a goblin army, I can just send a ton of, like, stars and kind of, like, do a lot more damage that way than I can with this. So I'm also going to look for some more uh, temples, but I'm also going to make a platform here. So I'm going to do both of those, and I'll be right back. I believe I found my second temple. Oh, yep, that, that answers that. <laughs> that was funny. Just flump. So I'm going to build my bridge right here. Also, so you guys are aware of what I did with the other one. It's after I built all the way up. I went ahead and made platforms, uh, and then I cut down the post. That left a um, one step going all the way up, right dead center. Uh, kind of less intrusive than a huge wall. I can get around it, and I can just hop right up. I really like the fact that I can't get knocked down um, because of this whole... Ooh whole uh, crimson shield or whatever that one was that I found. Go away! <laughs> that was funny. And this one was actually not all that far away from the original one that I just found not too, uh, not too long ago. Ooh, some gold right off the bat. And I think I can already tell that this is a silver one. Mm 
Yep, definitely. So this is like tier two of the three floating uh, fortresses. And then at the very top, I made a uh, platform, like so, all the way across. That way I didn't, while well, walking up here, didn't accidentally fall, even though it wouldn't have mattered because I have the, uh, the platforms going all the way down. It just is nice. Ooh, harpy. Hide. All right, second key and lame. Eh, not too bad. Ooh, yes. Shiny red balloon allows me to jump higher. So I'll uh, show you after I'm done killing these harpies. Oop, missed. All right, so we'll use this tree as an example. So no balloon. And the highest I can jump before my jet pack engages is pretty much the feet at the bottom of this branch. Then with a shiny red balloon, that's just me holding the space bar. So I don't double it, but I'm like very close to 50% jumping uh, extra in my height, which is very nice. Um, so if you don't have the cloud in a bottle, you can just use that. And as you can see, I can just jump much higher. All right, I'm gonna keep looking. I'm also gonna grab this gold. And kill these harpies while I'm at it because they actually drop something of use to me. Wow, I actually almost missed this one. Um, I think it's really high up there. But, um, I was running past and I'm like do 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 and then it like landed the little thing like way behind me. Let's see if it lands again. Yep, there it is. See? Like that's how I almost missed it. Like I was shooting it forward and I just kept running and running and running. So this one must be really high up there. So I'm just gonna go like here maybe. Cause I think this is about where I first hit the thing. Wow, I need to s remove that balloon for now. <laughs> like, not that the extra jump height is not bad or good. I just don't need it right now when I'm just building a platform. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss it or anything. But this is like right after the NPC village that I built. Uh, I pretty much walked all the way to the ocean on the other side and saw nothing. Hmm. Okay, so it's over that way. Oh yeah, this thing is really high up. No wonder I almost missed it. <laughs> there you are. Wow. Actually, almost had a stone blocks just to get to you. And there it is, bouncing off the ground. That's funny. All right, let's get up here. And let's see which one this is. It looks like gold. It could be a bronze one. I don't know if they're... Oh, yeah, definitely gold. I don't know if you can get, like, two bronze ones or if there's always, like, one of each or what. I just know that the small ones have... Well, I know for the larger ones you can have two of the same type of temple. But I mean for, like, the small ones because I know there's, like, a max of... Um, how much you can actually, how many you can have, which is three islands. And I think I found the third one, so that means I found all three islands. Take some of my gold bricks with me. I'll totally have to uh, clear out this whole area and steal all the bricks. <laughs> Alright, and then once again, make a platform going across for now. Let's see what we got. 
Wait, ooh, yeah, yeah, lucky horseshoe. Perfect. And some bottles, yeah. Some more health potions, yeah, wood, yeah. Copper, that's kind of weird. Copper and a gold temple. Um, I don't think there's anything worth switching for that. Uh, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll toss it on the ground. And nope, that didn't help. <laughs> Grenade! I guess I can show you what a... Oh, I have a mushroom in here. I don't need that. I'll also show you guys what a grenade does because I have one with me. It's pretty much kind of like the bomb, but it's a grenade. So it'll explode sometime after being thrown. And as you can see, it's not very powerful. It's more meant for like a weapon. But because it does no block damage. Uh, but like I said, it's not very powerful. Uh... You can buy them from the explosive guy if you didn't notice that. I think you can buy some. Um, but I don't find a very good use for it. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Actually, I just noticed how much time has been done through the recording. So I will actually be calling this the end of the episode. I shall see you all next time. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to join the epicness. Um, one thing I want to do before we leave... Star power! This is Mr. Willie signing off. Adios.